This is our mama and her baby. Mama, are you protecting your baby from me? You protecting the baby? The baby is so cute. I think it's a Bifelder sizzle mix. And I think it's a girl, but um, mama's not even letting me see it. Do you remember what mama's name is? No, the Bifelders all look so similar, right? I want to see the baby. There's the baby. There's the baby. I think it's a hen. It sure looks like a hen to me. Aww. Welcome to Schofield Farm. Guess what I have? Our first tomato. It's a taxi tomato. It is the first ripe tomato we have. There's a lot more of the taxi ones on the plants. They are determinate, so uh, I don't prune the suckers. I do prune some of the leaves though, especially if they're like yellowing, but these are really good. This is our second year growing them. Let me show you the plants. Here is one of them. It's got quite a few on there. And this tomato came from over here. Oh, this needs to be pulled up. These, right there. I need to pull that up. I actually need to tie up some more tomatoes. I ran out of time because of a dance performance for my girls and um, need to finish that today in the garden. And there is a ladybug on my tomato plants. That's always a welcome sight. Hi little ladybug. Oh it does not wanna, it doesn't wanna focus but it's super cool. I am pruning and tying up my cherry tomato bed and let me show you how good the tomatoes are looking right now i'm pretty encouraged like today is the middle of june and you're never going to believe this i don't care where you're in the country you're not going to believe this it is like 74 today a high of 74 that is unheard of where we are and i am not complaining but i think it's actually letting my tomatoes set fruit and let me show you how great these cherry tomatoes are looking right now Look at that. This is Black Beauty. This is one of our favorites. I mean, we're pretty much only growing our favorites, right? Over here is Sun Gold. Sun Gold. Let's see what else we have over here to show you. We have Berries Crazy Cherries. They don't have a lot on them yet, but they usually have really huge clusters, so they will have a ton at some point here. Over here we have Sunrise BB, and they've got a nice little stripey to them. I don't know. Can you see the stripey yet? I'm not sure if you can see that yet. Super Sweet 100. This is a blue, blueberry cream, I think it's called. Uh, no, just blue cream berries. That's what it's called right here. It's a new one to us. And here is more sun gold. They're about to change color. Very pretty little clusters coming up. More black cherry. Right there. And over here we have berries, crazy cherries. This shows a little bit better what the clusters end up being like. They end up being just sometimes like 20 little tomatoes all together. This is super sweet. These are so wonderful. Very classic red, sweet, sweet, sweet. And maybe you can see the stripes better on this Sunrise Beauty right here. Let's see if it will focus for you. No, yes, yes, is it focused. I don't know if it's really showing the stripes though, but those are fun. And my alyssum is finally taking off down there. I tried several times and it, it didn't do well at first, but it is. It's now filling in. It'll be like a little ground cover under these tomatoes. As I've showed you before, I do plant close. I plant them about uh, 20 inches apart on each side. And then I uh, like checkerboard them in the middle on the other side. 
So I prune heavily on the bottom to give airflow. I also have a lot of leeks and garlic around here and I'm about to harvest garlic so that will be gone. The leeks will not. The leeks will stay all season. And let me show you how I check to see if garlic's ready. I know a lot of people in my area harvesting garlic and mine is not quite ready. And if I didn't know how to check it, I would probably be tempted to harvest right now as well. You want about half of the leaves to die back. Usually garlic have like nine to 11 leaves. So if you have five left that are green, it is safe to say it might be time to harvest. You also wanna cut water before you harvest because I've done it in the past where I did not do that. It's very hard to pull them up. When the soil is um, wet, it makes it like denser. If it's dried out, it actually is looser to pull them out. Okay, so let's use this garlic as an example. So let's count the green leaves. We have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven green leaves. That tells me that it's probably not ready, but we can actually look. And if we just kind of gently dig around it, it hasn't really clobed out yet. Like it's still a little bit more like a bulb. It's almost gonna clove out, but I wanna give it a little bit more time to actually develop individual cloves. I have harvested too early before, where it almost is like um, the bottom of a leek. They didn't separate the cloves. I have also harvested too late where the cloves are so, so like pulling apart, separating from each other. I'll see if I can find a picture to put on this for you to see what that looked like. I have one from a few years ago. And so you wanna find that happy, perfect in between place and all your garlic might not be ready at the same time. So you might do a couple different harvests. Right now I have checked about seven or eight um, in different garden beds and nothing quite seems ready. So I'm gonna wait a few days. I did move the water though and turned off the little spigot things that are right next to it so that they can dry out because I have a feeling that it may still be this week that I harvest. And these are a few um, onions that I'm letting go to seed because I want to save seed. This is from a red onion. It had two flower heads come up and I will save seed to plant this fall. I actually start them inside late summer and then I plant them out in the fall. So this is my future, uh, my future seed for my future onion plants. Look what I found hiding in here. I was just thinking how we didn't have any zucchini and we have a big one. I didn't even see it. I've got to do so much pruning, but that's exciting. I had avoided coming out here for the last couple days besides the fact that we had a huge ballet dance show, two of them in one day, um, visiting my grandma a lot, Father's Day. I uh, was avoiding the wind. Well, if you look behind me at the eucalyptus, I can't avoid the wind forever. It's just windy, so I'm gonna have to do some tying up. And I wanted to show you, <sighs> so many of my sunflowers are are uh, blooming and I came out here today and I was surprised how many and I can't wait to share with you because tomatoes off the vine and bees on my sunflowers that is like what summer garden dreams are made of right at least my summer garden dreams <laughs> I need to cut a bunch of this chard back for dinner and I'm also going to cut out a bunch of um, mustards that are growing we have volunteer ones we're going to saute it with our zucchini and some rice, have a garden, kind of a garden saute. Let's get some good bundles. prolific and it's been here a couple years. I'm just gonna heavily cut it back for our dinner. Huh. Interesting little bugs I find along the way. grow 
back fine. We will have some good greens to go with dinner. pretty fast oh my my hair is crazy in this wind um i am going to harvest some more peas and i'll have you join me maybe we'll put some of these in our sauteed dinner tonight too some of these are pretty small still be good with dinner. Since we are doing a garden saute veggie thing. Oh, this one has got some big ones. That's too little. Um, oh, that one's pretty good. Me too. I'll just be a little bit of something towards dinner. And I found a little jackpot over here. They are so camouflaged. All right, that looks pretty good for right now. Get one more. All right, so a couple things I wanted to update you on, show you, was I had to replant um, my lemon cucumbers because they kept getting eaten by really pulleys. And let me show you how those look right now. Okay, this is something I wish I had someone else filming me. I'm gonna try to do it one-handed. I'm gonna take a cup and I'm gonna put it under these little uh, seed heads of the lettuce. Lettuce seed heads kind of look like the seed heads of um, dandelions. They get fuzzy and they have little seeds in there when they get dry and dead. And you just rub them off. Let me see if I can do this. Doing everything one-handed here, okay. You kind of just pull it off. And then, and then I kind of gently rub this and the seeds fall out. And the seeds are small, and these are happen to be like a black color. In each head, it looks like there's about 20 to 30 seeds. I mean, it always depends, but that's what's in that one. It is a pretty windy day to be doing this, um, but I'm doing a lot of different garden chores today that I don't, I don't know. I just see what's ready to do, and I do it, and it felt like should be done at least for a few of them here but the thing is as I rub it it's probably going to blow some of the seeds around my garden because that's just how it is when it's windy with something that is fuzzy like a like a dandelion head oh dear oh some just scattered right there <laughs> Okay, I really want to show you this a little better. See how the seeds are just little? And they're like black. Yeah. And they just come right out. Okay, there you go. Look at that. Maybe that'll help you see what they look like. Yeah, so you let lettuce flower, then you let the flowers dry out like dandelions. And then you just rub it into a cup and you have your seed for next year. There you go. Lots of lettuce seeds right there. 
So it doesn't look like a lot, but lettuce seeds are so small. It's actually a lot. See this little volunteer mustard literally right outside my bed. Dinner. It's gonna be part of dinner. Aren't these Alma Paprika peppers just lovely? Oops, there you go. And over here, I will dry them towards paprika. And oh my goodness, this is the corbachi pepper. New to me, it's a sweet one. That is looking great. And what is this? This is Jimmy Nardello. Quite a few of them. Those turn red are so sweet, so delicious. And look at the echinacea. to work watering a little bit um, my potato beds some of my sunflowers around the border of the garden but I've got to show you my sunflower forest and how it is blooming it looks so great this is the one right by my stand oh it is so windy this one's close this one's close this one is beautiful and huge look at that oh so happy 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 oh oh my goodness and this one's got these on it right now oh look at their pollen saddles look at that that bee has got a lot of pollen today This one decided to bloom. So pretty. This one decided to bloom, and there's another little pollinator bee. Hello, little honeybee. Seriously, if it's even only for the bees, oh, sunflowers, they are amazing. blooming in the pathway and it's got its own little honeybee friend. Now those pollen saddles, I don't know if you know what those are. If you're bee people, of course you do. But bees carry around the pollen they gather like in these little pouches on their legs. Oh, there's another bee up there in this one. Oh, my bees are so happy right now. Squash is looking great. It's taking off and I have to start checking every day. I'm trying to train those pumpkins to climb up just like the loofah and the, oh, what is it? Acorn squash over here is climbing up as well. I think I'm gonna pick that mustard too. My first tomatillo. That is wonderful. And Thai dragon peppers. That's for our favorite hot sauce. Oh, lots of tomatillos down here. They're just kind of hiding. See, they're right there like little lanterns. Oh, that's so nice. We'll move that over here. 
Oh, these are beautiful. And some of these peppers are almost ready to start harvesting. They're, they're a good size. If you look back there, they're all kind of camo. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go in. And reality is I'm not going to water today. It's just too windy. I'm, I think that my potatoes and the sunflowers on the fence line can wait one more day. So I'm gonna take in all of my stuff, get it ready for dinner. I'm gonna dehydrate a bunch more chives and put those lettuce seeds that I uh, harvested away. And thank you for joining me. I can't wait to bring you along to harvest garlic very soon. I was hoping it would be today, but we're not quite ready. So soon we will do that. And I can't wait to share it with you. Have a wonderful day. Happy gardening. I mean, look at all this stuff. Oh, uh, growing food is awesome. Don't you think? Mm -hmm.